How to Travel by Car with Cats Part 2 Caring for your cat while driving 1. Put your cat in its cage Confine your cat to a cage or a pet carrying case so the cat doesn't get in your way while you're driving. It can be dangerous if a loose cat climbs into the driver's lap, gets underfoot, or becomes frightened or excited. Make sure the cage is large enough for your cat to turn around in, stand up fully, and stretch out. Place something soft in the cage for the cat to lie on before putting the cat inside. Keep the inside of your car at a comfortable temperature, not too hot and not too cold. 2. Secure the cage in the car. Once you put the cage in your cat, secure it with one of the seat belts or by placing it in a spot where it cannot move. This will help to protect your cat from injury if you have to stop suddenly or you get into an accident. 3. Give your cat water regularly. Fill your cat's water bowl at rest stops and offer it a chance to drink. Cats can become dehydrated easily, especially if they eat dry food, so it's important to give your cat frequent access to water. It is typically not a good idea to give your cat water while the car is moving. It will likely spill and get all over the place. 4. Let your cat out of the car every 2 hours or so. You and your cat should stretch your legs every couple hours during a trip in the car. If at all possible, let the cat investigate an area with loose dirt or sand to encourage it to defecate or urinate. If there are no sandy spots available, or your cat is particular about litter, set up a small litter box and try to have your cat use it while you are stopped. Taking a few minutes to let your cat relax and go to the bathroom is better than having your cat have an accident in the car. 5. Don't leave your cat alone in the car. It is dangerous to leave a pet in a car unattended. The temperature can increase rapidly in a closed up car, so you can endanger your cat's health by leaving it alone for a few minutes if it's too hot out. Never leave your cat in a car if the temperature is too hot. If the temperature is warm and you can't avoid leaving your cat briefly, park in the shade and leave the windows open enough to allow air circulation but not so wide your cat can escape or get its head caught. A cat can get sick and die quickly if left in an overheated car. 6. Offer food on the cat's regular schedule. To prevent car sickness, try to arrange your cat's main meal after you arrive at your destination. However, you should try to feed it at a time that is close to when it normally eats. Cat's bowels are stimulated by food. So be sure to set up the litter box as soon as you arrive at your nightly destination. 7. Let your cat blow off some steam at the end of the day. Take cat toys or a laser pointer on your trip to stimulate the cat with play at the end of the day's travel. It's important for your cat to move around and get vigorous exercise, especially if the feline is confined in a cage for most of the day. This is especially important if you are going on a multi-day trip with your cat. Warnings Do not place your cat in the bed of a pickup truck or anywhere outside the cab of the vehicle while driving. Dust or debris can get in a cat's eyes and cause infection.